This year's Sundance Red Carpets coverage is brought to you by Blake Christian, Certified Public Accountant. Get all your tax and financial needs met at hcvt.com or call 435-200-9262. Hi everyone, Nick Chase here for Park City Television out at the red carpet for The Report. This is a movie by Scott Burns starring Adam Driver all about a Senate committee and their uncovering of a CIA interrogation and torture program in a post 9-11 America. Let's see what everyone has to say. It was an incredibly important story to us. It's a wild episode in our nation's history and something that very few people actually know about. And the fact that Scott Burns, the filmmaker, was able to take such a dark episode in our nation's history and really turn it into an engaging thriller that is actually fun to watch and really thought provoking. To us, it was just absolutely the perfect way of trying to understand this crazy world we live in, but in a way that will actually sit with you and connect with you. And it's just inspiring to people. I was really fortunate in that I had a, a top-notch screenwriter that did a lot of the research beforehand. And I was really fortunate that we had uh, the subject of the movie is this incredible man named Dan Jones who did 7,000 pages of research for us. And it's all right there, you know. A lot of it's classified. Uh, a lot of it is, uh, you know, redacted. But, you know, it, it, it's all there. And so the realities and the political nature of it is also very real and how you have to kind of navigate that and how, how difficult it is to get it out in a partisan political environment. But, but what we hope happens, I think, all of us on the film, is that we all learn this as Americans and as human beings, that this isn't okay. Here, because there's so much misinformation around the CIA's program and around public perception, we all made a decision to try and hew as close to the truth as we could. Um, or, you know, and there's information that we have now um, about what went on with the program. There's still a lot that's classified. Um, and so I had to stay within those boundaries and try and tell the story. And as important as that story is, it's also the story of Daniel Jones, who is a Senate staffer who stayed in a windowless room for years and, and made it possible for all of us to learn the truth of what happened. And it was really interesting to, to hear about the toll that this kind of a project takes on a person where as you learn more and more and you know you have a choice which is do you do you turn away because it's an ugly truth or do you decide that it's your duty to this country and to its ideas to keep going and I am very grateful that Dan kept going when I was doing research I remember I spent a lot of time talking to Jane Mayer who had written a book called The Dark Side and, you know, what Jane said to me is, Dan Jones is a great American hero, and I feel the same way. That's part of the beautiful thing about the script and, and why I was so excited to be a part of this project was that Scott did this beautiful job of, of taking an incredibly researched, honest piece of material and also making it very human and relatable and, and entertaining, you know? So uh, I think that's a great way to reach people with the truth is to make it relatable, human, and entertaining, you know? The fact that it was that we were able to tell this story and that it did that because of Dan Jones and the persistence of people like the character that I play and Diane Feinstein, it got out there. But people need to remember what this was saying. What this story says is torture doesn't work. Waterboarding doesn't work. And yet the man sitting in the White House believes that it does. At the end of it is, is about how we behave as human beings. And what are we gonna do in our, in our, in our worst moments are we going to be responsible for our behavior? Because you can't just take your, your behavior and you know, at your best and say, oh, that's how we are all the time. You have to look at the whole picture. And um, hopefully people will see that you know, the, re the real nature of war and the real nature of prisoners of war and the real nature of intelligence gathering is not 24. And it's not you know, what we see in the movies. It's people that are put in incredibly difficult situations to try to find out the truth that hopefully will keep us all much safer and will help everybody in the world get along a little better. And torture is not part of that equation. Full stop. We hope you enjoyed that and we hope you check out The Report. We'll have much more coming up on Park City Television. Don't go away.